here's a little tip. This is just a little tip for those of you that are dealing with shoulder harness problems on your older Mercedes Benz. These are, these are you know, ones back in, in the late 80s and older uh, that used a mechanical retracting shoulder harness. A lot of times these wear out. They just wear out. And the only practical way to replace them is to get a good used one. Well, if you've ever, if you've ever played around with these used ones, it's really hard to, to know whether they're working right. <laughs> you might say, what do you mean? Well, <laughs> let me show you why. Well, you can see that this one has, still has the original tag on it. It's a 1980, and it's a W123 chassis, probably out of an old 300D or 240D or something. Um, but the, the, most of the problems occur, you get, you get the straps wear out, and they fray, and the dogs chew them up. You can't believe how many cars I've seen where these shoulder harnesses had, had, have had <laughs> the webbing chewed up with a dog. But if you, if you were to get one of these off a car, and then you start trying to say, well, man, this is not working. Look at that. It's not working. See that? And, you, you know, let's say you bought one on eBay, and some guy ships it off to you, and you, you sit there and say, well, hey, buddy, you sold me a lemon here. This thing is not even, you know, coming out. Well, <laughs> surprise. Let me show you why. Okay, you can see it's five minutes later here, and I'm, I'm still trying to get this thing to extend. Well, I can't get the strap to extend. How am I going to install it in the car? Well, you might be surprised to learn that it will not extend unless this is perfectly vertical. See that? Now watch when I put this perfectly vertical and slowly roll it out. Look at that. See that? Now watch what happens when I tip it. It locks. Obviously, if the car is tumbling through the air, it needs to stay locked. <laughs> but this can be really frustrating if you didn't know this. So one of the ways to check uh, how the condition of your uh, the shoulder harness retract me mechanism that's currently in your car is to just take and, and see how smoothly it pulls all the way out. It should come all the way out, right to the end. See that? I can, oh, okay, I'm running out of room here. And then you can check for any fraying down in that part uh, of the actual webbing, but you see when it comes back and it comes all the way down and retracts, what keeps it from retracting any further is you've got, I mean this is more than enough, but it, it starts to roll up and bind over here. If you pull this out, once again, got to be vertical, got to be slow, if you pull this out and only come and start stopping here, then the retract mechanism is worn out. And of course, the other thing is you want to jerk on it. If you jerk on it, Keep it vertical. It should, it should catch, see that? And that shows you that it's working properly. So if you've, got, if you've got a problem, particularly the driver's sides wear out on these. So if you're having problems uh, with your shoulder harness, we carry a number of these on our website. If you don't see one, just go ahead and email us because we've got, we only save the very best and you cannot interchange the right side with the left side. So the challenge is, is trying to find a, a good driver. Is that if we come across a good driver's side shoulder harness on these old Mercedes, we save it. So if you need one, you know where to go.